this is something I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. What in the world brings you down here? This week we're back with our old friend Ed Wood. It's always difficult for an old friend to sit in judgment of an old friend. You'd think, but it turns out I'm fine with it. So oh, what? The Violent Years is only written by Wood, so the leaden direction is someone else's fault. How am I to blame? But the dialogue is unmistakable. Good night, boys. The party's over. But the night's just beginning. Featuring Wood's trademark desperation for all this to be seen as believable. But it has happened. The film follows a group of delinquent girls Help yourselves if you want any. who sensibly disguise their gender by wearing masks. Well, that's not fooling anyone. Four young boys Shows what I know. Wore masks, Levi's, leather jackets. And mascara. But clearly the masks are working. Do what they say, Shirley. They've got guns. Well, this is just dumb. These aren't kids. These are morons. I couldn't agree more, although the adults aren't that bright either. What in the world is a pajama party? The girls' crime spree escalates to terrible acts of violence during this daring daylight sweater robbery. Take that sweater off. A more suspicious man than me might think that this was just the filmmaker's way of getting her to take her clothes off. But maybe you'd like to tell me what I used to tie her up with. Use her skirt, that looks strong enough. Tear up and use it. Okay, now I'm suspicious. For God's sake, Cheryl, take this sweater off. Give it to her. The film's most infamous scene implies that the girls gang rape this man. Well, maybe he's got more to offer than his money. Off screen, naturally. <laughs> And of course, such gateway crimes as robbery, assault and rape inevitably lead to messing up schoolrooms. Someone really needs to have a word to Ed about escalation within a script. Although, there is a hint that this crime is just plain un-American. And uh, don't worry if a few flags get destroyed in the process. Let's just say it's part of a well-organized foreign plan. The police show up, and since the girls have been caught in the act of recklessly destroying a globe, they decide to shoot it out. They're shooting back! That was predictable. It ain't supposed to be this way. The remaining girls slip out the back way, just next to where the police are. From now on, we've got to keep on the move. They then take refuge with someone even dumber than them. I killed a policeman tonight. Well, I may have been bluffing before, but I'm not bluffing now. I'm calling the police. Before crashing their car. I think. Now, don't you bother your pretty little head about such things. That's your dad's department. The rest of the film is given over to the moral, to which it has been building throughout with the subtlety of using a steam hammer to crack a peanut. Got time to talk a minute? It's rather important. Good gracious, no. Gee, honey, I'm sorry I can't be at your party tonight. But you know how busy I am. Mom and Dad haven't been to my birthday parties in years. Three girls are dead. The one left is pregnant and is thoroughly chastised by the judge at her trial. You have had all that money can give you, but that wasn't enough. Message received. The thrill seeker comes from all walks of life. Just sentence her. The love for the mother and the father, the church, and their country. Is this guy running for something? He talks solidly for like three minutes, pausing only to check his script. With his continual increases of dosage. But what about the baby? The baby? The girl. Well and healthy. And the mother? She... she died. <gasps> Her parents apply to the court to adopt the child. Adults create the world children live in. Oh, not him again! If all people would join this Back to God movement... Shut up! So what? Good summation of the movie. Pretty bad one this time. How about a doc? Pretty bad. 
You can say that again. Pretty bad, huh? Pretty bad. So we're all in agreement? Good. It all seems like such a bad dream. Forgetting to wear masks, entering into a gunfight with the police over what is essentially horseplay. Are these the dumbest criminals on screen or have you seen dumber? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.